If you've watched some of our Robot Basic YouTube videos, you know that Robot Basic is, has commands that make it very easy to program video games. Instead of games, though, in this video, we want to show you some of the capabilities Robot Basic has in the way of animation and simulation um, in terms of advanced graphics. First, let's take a look at this program. Notice how short it is. This program uses the built-in 3D engine in Robot Basic. It's not a fantastic engine. It's not going to, to do you know, huge 3D movies or anything, but it's very easy to use and very effective for many 3D simulations. Let's just take a look at this capability. Imagine trying to do this in a language that doesn't have these capabilities built in. Once these points have been entered into an array, the engine allows us to manipulate this in 3D movements very, very easily by changing the perspective of the object or the viewer. You can make your programs into binary files so that you can distribute them without showing anybody your source code, if you wish. These simple shapes, cubes and triangles, can be manipulated with the 3D engine. You can erase the colors, make it just a line drawing. You can change the shape. Here are the pyramid. And you can take these shapes, once they're entered into the array, and manipulate them by rotating them around an axis or even eliminating the axis entirely if you wish. Notice in some cases we're rotating the axis, in other cases we're moving the object relative to the axis. Remember, these are all demo programs written in Robot Basic, and they're very, very short. All of these programs can be downloaded from our web page. This next demo program demonstrates how we can manipulate bitmaps to create interesting effects such as fire. This program also has other objects, each object being controlled at its own speed. Again, we have a fairly short program here. Notice the program is broken down into modules. This is a really nice program for demonstrating how to do modular programming. This clock demonstrates animation with that flicker. It has a lot of pieces, an alarm clock as well as uh, the time and day, date. There's the alarm. Time to move on. Robot Basic has many commands for manipulating files and images. This four line program, for example, produces this rose.
This shows how colors can be manipulated within Robot Basic. Remember, this is a Robot Basic demo, not some fancy program that you purchase just for manipulating colors. All these things are easily built into any program you write. Here's another demo with several objects moving at different speeds. We're manipulating the men to make them appear to be walking and the birds to appear like they're flying. And each one is being manipulated as its own event timer with its own event timer. Notice there's no flicker with this object. Now look at the flicker. We have commands built into Robot Basic to eliminate flicker. Look at the difference. See the flicker? This is a very special thing here. We're trying to reveal those words with a curtain. You can't do that in most languages at all. Notice how nicely it looks here because we can eliminate any flicker causing the two words to not show in the wrong way. This is a paint program. We have a couple paint programs on our web page that are demos. This dialog box that comes up is built into Robot Basic. You can choose colors. Then you can begin to draw. Remember, this is not a program that you buy or a program that you use or one that comes with Windows. This is a program written entirely in Robot Basic. If you're a student and you want to learn how these things are written, this is a perfect example of something you should study. It has fill commands. You can choose the colors directly from the screen or choose them from the dialog boxes. You can undo things when you do them wrong. Just showing someone how to undo something is important. This allows us to select different brush styles. Again, the dialog box. Here, if you remember when you were a kid, you might have had a pencil with a card and picture on one side and a different picture on the other, and you roll the pencil in your hand. This shows some latency of the eye as we change the speed that the two objects are blended together. I've tried to show you a few of Robot Basics graphic capabilities. If you want to find out more, visit our web page, robotbasic.com. You can download your free copy of Robot Basic as well as all the demos that you see here and in our other videos. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you enjoy using Robot Basic. Thanks for watching.